Sometimes the dead talk to us. Christopher, I want to tell you a story that was told to me by my uncle. It happened in a small town near his called Hampton Falls in Massachusetts. It happened a long time ago, June 18, 1969 to be exact. Eight students were graduating high school that year. They were an adventurous group of eight best friends, and they thought it would be great to have one final adventure together. So they stayed one night in an abandoned insane asylum on the outskirts of town. It was also rumored to be quite haunted. Mm -hmm. It was for them the perfect place to be that night. Something happened though. Something terrible. I can tell you right now, although the case file on Hampton Falls has been closed since 1969, all those who went in did not come out the same. And some of those that went in didn't come out at all. These are the photographs of those eight very good friends. These are their graduating photos taken just days before the Hampton Falls tragedy. Now, in a moment, I'm going to ask you to separate these photographs into two groups. One to my left, one to my right. I want you to look at all these pictures, and when you're ready, just place your finger on one. All right? Okay. I want you to examine that photo. Look at that picture, that smile, the eyes, the hair, everything. When you're ready, just say left or right. Left. All right. 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 Left. Left. Right. Left. Right. Very good. So you've separated them equally. Now, as I had spoken, the case file has been closed for quite a while, but some of the details filtered down to me. What haunted the asylum that night was no ordinary lost spirit. This was much darker, evil, some even say demonic. And it toyed with the kids that night. It tortured them physically and mentally. Of the eight that entered the asylum that night, only four survived. Of the four survivors, two of them went completely insane. One was rendered a quadriplegic from the injuries sustained that night, unable to communicate physically or verbally. Only one of those eight friends was able to recount to the police the next day the events that happened that tragic night. Do you believe, Christopher, that it is possible for us to communicate with the dead? Or maybe, the better question is, do you think the dead can talk to us? I think anything's possible. You had a free choice of where to put these. Mm -hmm. Now, what you're about to see is either going to leave you with the impression that this was just a strange coincidence, perhaps something paranormal, or just maybe, just maybe, the dead can sometimes talk to us. We're going to start with this pile here. Christopher, you have separated the dead. Mm -hmm. From the ones who survived that night. Oh. It is up to you to decide of what you've just seen to be more than perhaps a parlor trick, a strange coincidence, as I said, or just maybe sometimes the dead can talk to us. 